So I have the amazing writers behind the scenes of Netflix series Sweet Tooth. So talk to me, Jim and Linda, about what does it feel like, first and foremost, to show up here, and it's cold outside. Yeah. It, in the rain, on the red carpet at the 2024 Writer Guild Award. Yeah. He's our nominee. <laughs> uh, I'm an executive producer on the show and Jim's sidekick. But it's really validating for Jim and for the other writers. You know, he started as a director and uh, maybe was a little anxious about writing, but yeah, now yeah, this yeah. sort of proves yeah. to you that, um, yeah, you deserve this. Oh, <laughs> yes, and the, listen, she got to it before me, but congratulations <laughs> on you. your nomination. Thank you very and much. what did the nomination feel like once you you know, learned that you land it. It's cool because it's been such a long, you know, this show has been in our life for so long, so many years, and you sort of plug away at it. And especially last year during the strike, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of days, you know, walking in the heat and all that, you know, and so seeing people all dressed up and getting to celebrate a little bit, celebrate writing and the art of writing is pretty cool. So it's an honor. It's cool. Tell me, were there any scenes or scripts that went into the trash that you can <laughs> share the beans with me today about? Uh, uh, you well, have to give me... You know what happens is, like, the, the, the episodes that come out the best are the ones that you do throughout the first pass, and a lot of times, like, the second and the third, and some, you know, it takes a lot, so... Weirdly, I think every year we have one episode that we love that was the result of throwing out the first three versions of it yeah. and starting over and, and hacking away. So I feel like that's probably we're, that's probably not unusual. Yeah. How do you deal with that as it's a hard. writer? And <laughs> it's really hard. Yeah, it's really hard. I mean, I don't know. We uh, we we work very hard at it, so it's all part of the part of the job, I guess, and um, part of making it the best Some version it can be. Yeah. Summer troubled children Some, but yeah 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 and sometimes you love the troubled children a little more because yeah. they're troubled yeah <laughs> two more questions before i let you go and i'm going to intermix them both together okay. those moments when you're feeling and experiencing writer's block in the writer's room how do you overcome those moments and also exercising your creativeness you know and 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 basically like your personal your personal direction yeah. as a writer yeah when it comes to collaborating with others, like producers, directors, cinematographers? Yeah. Very good question. I'm lucky because I'm the showrunner, so everyone sort of expects me to have that second part. Um, and a lot of times it's about remembering to have that when you are, when you do have a room of nine people. Um, I don't really think there's writer's block in the room because mostly because you're surrounded by people who are just filled with ideas. A lot of times it's about sort of making sure you can uh, uh, be disciplined about the best ideas and making sure you don't have too many. So um, that's the beauty of a writer's room is just there's so many great minds and great ideas coming along. So, yeah. I have my fingers crossed for yeah, you tonight. You. Congratulations on everything. Thank, thank you, you both. Thank, thank you. you.